All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for language arts, we are going to be looking at using dictionary entries. So first off, we need to know what is a definition. So a definition is a statement of the meaning of a term. So the definition is what tells you what a specific word means. So here's an example. This is from IXL. So the definition is, again, what the term that you're looking up, what it means. So here, someone had looked up what the word scald meant. And here it gives the definition and the word scald means to burn yourself with a hot liquid. So again, the definition of a word tells you what that specific word means that you looked up. All right, so a dictionary entry tells you more about a word. So the entry word is the word you look up. So entry words are listed in alphabetical order. So when you open up a dictionary, all the words in there are all alphabetized. So it goes from A all the way through Z. So again, just like in our last example, the word scald this time would be the entry word. So this is the word that you wanted to look up because maybe you didn't know what it meant or maybe you didn't know how to spell spell it. So here again, so the definition was to burn yourself with a hot liquid and the entry word that we were looking up was scald. All right, next up in a dictionary entry is the part of speech. So the part of speech tells you whether the entry word is a verb an adjective or some other part of speech. So here under two, it says the word scald is a verb because remember it said to burn yourself with a hot liquid. So it's an action. So when you scald, your, when you scald yourself with something hot, it is an action that you are doing and that's why the word scald is a verb. All right, next up is the sample sentence. So a sample sentence shows you how the word can be used in context. So it's telling you how to use the word correctly in a sentence. So you might look at the word scald and say, okay, I know how to spell it. I know how to pronounce it. And I know that it means to burn yourself with a hot liquid, but maybe you're still wondering how you could incorporate it into a sentence. So here for four, it gives an example sentence with the word scald in it. So they used, don't spill the tea and scald yourself, or don't spill the tea and burn yourself. So here is an example of one from IXL, so you'll probably see these on IXL. So in this example, it says to select the definition. So on IXL, you're gonna be able to click on multiple words or multiple, uh, or multiple words at a time. So you have to be paying really close attention to what they want you to select. So in this example, they want us to select the definition. And remember, the definition tells us what the word means. So the word that we're looking up is gaze. And now the definition of gaze is to look at something for a long time. So when you do the IXL standard, just make sure that you're paying very close attention to which one they want you to select. So we don't wanna select gaze or verb or the sample sentence. We, wanted, we, want, we would want to click on to look at something for a long time to match with selecting the definition. All right, and that is our lesson for today.